Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dead. I can today we're all aboard the monster train again. Random, random. Covenant rank seven. We're on a bit of a win streak, two in a row, so we're going to take our time. Try and fathom it out. Try and get win number three. We are the Awoken again and the Stygian Guard. So, Restoration, Detoration, I love. Deal 25 damage to a front enemy units, discard random card. This should work well with the Stygian Guard and the spell stuff. Bramble Lash. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to 10 times the amount of spikes on the unit. So I'd love to get a spike, Lord. Spikes. Oh, obviously you don't draw spikes for me. God damn it. Um, I would have loved you to have had spikes, honestly. By the way, if anything sounds like it's changed, I've had a bit of a nightmare with my PC this morning. I've tried to get it back to normal, but... Um, let's go for the Rejuvenate one. Sting spells get 20 plus magic power? Or plus 20 magic power? I mean, we want to go with the spikes. I'm hoping to God we get a spike lord, like, straight away. Or at least some spells that allow us to stack spikes. Not any bosses gain attack now that would be rather painful I think I'm gonna do it <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do it yeah my sounds a bit different it's like there's a bit of an echo on it I've played with my settings I just cannot get it to change at all uh, go with the heal That is not what I wanted you to do, but that actually works out fine. Yeah, I'm going to have to play with the sound settings a bit more off camera. Um, mm -mm -mm. You with the regen actually does more damage. And me just healing this dude should hopefully keep him alive. Uh, throw one of them there. You, you do nine damage, so I'd probably like to throw one of them up there. And we'll heal you a little bit. That does nothing for us, unfortunately. It'd be nice if we could swap these dudes around, honestly. Just so I could kill the archer at the back. Right, we're definitely taking some fire damage early on here. And there's not really going to be much I can do about it. Well, I might as well just go like that. And like that. And like that. Not that the regen's going to do anything. Don't do what I thought you were going to do. You're only going to get two hits in. We're not taking that much damage. Yeah, that's fine. Mm, mm, mm. Spike Lord. Mm, no Spike Lord. I am going to take the regen. I do like the discard ones. With the amount of discard we've got in deck. Apply sap to enemies. Multi-strike two. You know what? I'm actually going to give you a go. Because I'm looking to heal my tanky dude quite often. I definitely think we're going left. Spike Lord, Spike Lord. Yes! That's it. We've won. <laughs> no, I shouldn't get that complacent. Give you even more spikes. Yes. Incant gives you armor. It is only one armor. Screw it, why not? Let's go for a re-roll. Oh my god, more spikes. Shame you can't upgrade your champion at all. I mean, really, I'd like to give you multi-strike. No, that was uh, a waste of a re-roll there. A waste of cash. Never mind. <clears throat> I've got the exact unit that I wanted to go with. We'll just go for a top floor defense. Hopefully things will work out well. Uh, we need to spat uh, back. We need to stack Thorn Lord up with as many spikes as possible, and then he's just going to start one shot in nudes. Uh, so you go at the front. 
Thorn Lord costs like two, doesn't he? He costs three. Throw you down. Cast this. Cast this. You should live and get another kill. You're doing absolutely nothing. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown the sentinel down straight away. I'm dead. Thorn Lord, please. We got Thorn Lord. There you go. There you go. Uh, that's both of them dudes dead. Unfortunately, my gold is getting away. Bye. Um, just throw one of these dudes out, and then I can throw that and throw that. <clears throat> Love it. Just heal, heal, heal. Getting your spikes up. Hopefully we'll get the spike spell this turn. We did get it. So that will do 200 damage to the front target. How about I do that? And then how about I do that? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Anything that gives us spikes. This could actually be good for pulling people I want to kill to the front. Don't really think I need any more restoration detonations. You know what? I'm going to take the vine grasp ones. I'm going to keep taking the crypt builders as well. And now we need to start proper removing cards. Mm, could duplicate a card. Get two thorn lords. It seems a bit excessive. I think I want to go what? Why? Why can I not talk today? It's because I've had that much of a nightmare this morning with my computer. Oh, I think you've got to. Um, add magic power. That's just 10 on top. I mean, that healing for 20 is dead cool. And honestly, I'm tempted to reduce the cost of these. So then I can play as many spells as I can and then use the discard ability at the end. Um, let me purge a train steward because they're getting in the way. Excuse me. Um, I don't need another Thorn Lord. Although it would be quite funny, wouldn't it? My champion could still get the Thorn buff. Oh, it's you. Purge unit, gain an upgraded unit later on. I'm tempted to just give you one of the frozen lancers for now. And see what you get back to me with. You might as well give him something. There's always going to be a card you want to get rid of. And for now we can get rid of one of them. I don't want to give him a train steward because I actually want to remove them. <clears throat> Uh, deals one damage. That should be fine because we're going for uh, regeneration anyway. Thorn Lord, turn one. No Thorn Lord, turn one. Right, we're starting on this floor. Get you down. Have a regen. Have a regen, and you're just gonna die. Hmm, love it. I mean, I could actually throw Thorn Lord on the bottom, but I don't want to. You can have the Restoration Detonation and kill that dude. You can just get some regen and some armor there. Come on, stay alive. <clears throat> mm, restoration Detonation, let's go. I think I'm just going to leave you to it down there now. Let's start building this dude up. In fact, I'd rather you not take any damage. Well, not take as much damage. <clears throat> Alright, bottom floor. 
doesn't really matter about any of that stuff. I'm going to be able to annihilate you, so let's start down here. Kill you off. Kill you off. Kill you off. You're going to die, and you're going to die. Plus you get some armor, two incants, yada yada. <clears throat> I mean, the armor's not great on Thornlord, but it does help. Let's go for one of them down there, because that wrecks you. Might as well throw that up there and that up there so we take no more damage. And I actually don't need to kill you. I might as well just do that. <clears throat> it's a healer. You're not going to do anything. And we're going to one-shot you this turn anyway, so enjoy. Cannot move the boss. Who'd have thought? And... You can do one of them. You can do one of them. Yeah, we're actually doing no damage there. That's fine. Give me the spike detonation thing. Oh, we did not get it, but we still win. Well, there's nothing else to do there. Let's just hyper speed it. And watch you get wrecked. Okay, then. Enhance all spells in hand with plus five magic power. Hey. Restore friendly units to full health. I do like it. I need a way to get my Thorn Lord more health. <clears throat> Triggers when healed, even at full health. You know what? In that case, I'll take it. Incant, apply one sapped enemies. Incant, gain armor. Eh. I mean, I could do with another tank for the bottom floor to protect my Thorn Lord. Um, I don't think I really need capacity. Because I'd need two capacity to get anything else on the same floor as these two anyway. I don't really need energy. I need draw them. Oh, I don't need draw. It's just that's the best of the three choices, in my opinion. <clears throat> Remove cards and gain a random relic. That could be nice, but I think I want unit upgrades and the heal would be kind of nice. <clears throat> you know what? You can have more health. And you can have spikes. And let's remove another terrain steward because they're just getting in the way. What do we get? Spikes 11. I do like that. And then if anything's got sweep <clears throat> on that bottom floor, they're going to get double spiked. Uh, Non-boss enemy units gain even more damage. I think we can swing that. Thorn Lord turn one. In that case, then I'm going bottom floor with you. And you can come in the middle. I do need to stop casting while these guys are about. <clears throat> that would wreck that dude. Oh, it does mean you die though. Would that save you anyway? They're doing 25 damage. No. No, it would not show you. I think we've lost the bottom floor. <clears throat> so in that case, I think we just go on this floor. And focus all our energy on trying to make this dude invincible. I know the regens on this dude help more. But I do need to keep this dude healed as well. <clears throat> 26 damage. I could kill you with a spell. If I'm going to kill you with a spell, I need to do it this turn. 
I wish you'd taken slightly more damage. You've not got the encanting buff, so let's just kill you. And that kind of works out for us. You're only going to hit the pile one, so I think I actually leave you. <clears throat> well, I've not got much choice. I couldn't kill you anyway. 12 damage, so you would one-shot this dude. I think we ignore you again and move on. How much armor do you get? You get 10 armor from that, so there's really no reason to throw that down there anyway. I guess just throw that up top. Come on, need the regen on my shield lord to be higher. I mean, you might as well heal there, hadn't you? <clears throat> no discard here is a bit of a problem. I mean, there's no point even throwing the thing at you. I really would have liked to have got that card next turn. <clears throat> I think we're going to actually take loads of damage here. Maybe even die. You only do 74 damage, what the hell. There's 84. Please hit the crypt thing. Yes! Uh, play the regen again. Play it there, because that reduces the damage by 13. That takes you at... We're still only on 129 damage. Oh, boy. We need to get you to, like, less than 90 health. We're dead. Well... Being as that's a dead quick loss, we're going to start another one. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't have gone for the extra damage on that floor. Hey, if we still get a win, it does count. Uh, it doesn't count as a loss. But with how long these runs can go, in fact, yeah, it will count as a loss because it's reset the win streak counter. Um, all right, then we're the exact same as last time. We've got regen, we've got deal damage and apply frostbite, and we've got enhanced units. A multi-striker with that would be dead nice. You're going to give me thorns now, aren't you? Yes, you are. I mean, I do still like thorns. Just give me thorns. I know, I should really try and work a different way. When a friendly unit is healed, deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to the amount healed. When you play the third card of the turn, draw two. Draw two is not really going to help me for now, because I'm not going to have the energy. So... I think I'm going to take this one. Because if we're going for a massively overpowered healing deck, I'll do it. I know it's just got me into trouble doing this, but it's the first level. We should be fine with it. You go down there. That actually does zero damage because we don't heal for anything. Understandable. You didn't die to anything. You've got thorns. Yes. Yes. And throw that out there. We do need some better heals. Restoration Detonation, again, would be a nice card. Mm. I'm going to kill you off. I'm not that bothered about you because you're not going to do anything to the pyre. You're just going to go up there and get wrecked. That's exactly what I wanted. Admittedly, that costs a lot more. Mm, now we're taking pyre damage. We're only going to get hit four times with the pyre. Oh, no. Right, can I kill you with spells? 
get that rubbish out of here. Beef you up a bit. How hard do you hit? Five. So I'm going to put you back there. Surely we've got you. Yeah, we've got you. Go, go, trains to it. Alright, what do we get then? Mm, I do like these, but they are dead expensive. I'm going to take Glimmer. Really, I'd like a multi-attacking unit. Deal 20 damage to a random enemy unit three times. I mean, you can make that OP, but... I've not got any discard whatsoever. So I don't think that's the choice. And draw one, discard one. It does open up paths for us. You're exactly what I was looking for. A multi striker. Honestly, I'm going to go gold and um, spell upgrades. Because so if I can reduce one of you to nothing and look for holdover, holdover would be nice. I mean, glimmer being upgraded is dead good. Uh, double stack. Eight regen is a lot, but I think I'm just going to re-roll. Oh, holdover. I love it. Let's upgrade Glimmer again. So that's a lot of damage in itself. I think we want to reduce the cost of Awaken. So I can play that easier. And that's generally all the gold spent. Come on. The start of battle enemies appear on every floor. Let's go. That's a nice easy one. Well, it normally is. We've just got to switch to a top floor defense. And I got both of you turn one. I love it. We got this turn one. I love it. Throw one of them out there. Let's reduce our damage. I mean, we could have tried to get hold over on Glimmer. It would have been nice to have got Glimmer there. Uh, you can go with a heal. I mean, uh, we kill both of them anyway. Let's throw this on you, actually. I know we could have reduced damage taken there, but... I think we'll be fine. Get rid. Get rid. Play this again. Glimmer. And with the healing damage coming from this dude as well. Actually, the rejuvenate thing might be good on them as well. Get rid of you. And there you go. You're going to get to the top no matter what. It's unfortunate. You're only going to hit the pile once. I think we're good enough for this dude. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. You can have an upgrade. You can have a regen. Right. Have we got it? We've got it. Get rid. Get rid. Increase your damage even more. Luckily, you might manage to outdo his thorns. Only just... What did you survive with, like, two health? It seemed like that. Regeneration detonation, I think you need to take. Because it's, like, double damage there. Could get a little bit more of a discard thing, but I'm going to go for Titan's Tooth. Right, now I'd like some unit upgrades, and the heal this path is kind of nice. Extra damage. Oh my god, another multi strike. No. It's not the one I wanted. I'll take it. It does make you slightly tankier. No. And what's our random cabin event? Upgrade a unit with, like, a million attack damage. Um, being as though we're Awoken, I'll have a look into the Awoken cards. Oh, I'll take that. Yes, please. <clears throat> Just stack the regen up. 
And uh, let's go. You know, I'm going to be dead upset if we get two losers in a row. Enemy units deal one damage to the front enemy... Uh, the front unit on death. Again, we're healing, so we should be able to deal with this. Mm, there you go. Mm, there you go. I am going to... Pop that. Maybe I should have killed one of these, because then we'd have taken damage. Although you with four attacks is dead nice. Love the glimmer. That does so much damage. <laughs> oh my god. You might as well just take that. And you can get flash frozen. I think you'll eventually die to the frost. <clears throat> yeah, you're going to die to frost. Oh, give me glimmer back. No glimmer back, unfortunately. Right, let's start pimping you out. You're already dead. There you go. Then we heal and get another kill. And we reduce the damage no end. <clears throat> that frostbite is nice fitting the back units. I will say. Have we already had Titan's Tooth? Yeah, we have. Discard that. Let's get the glimmer out there. There's another heal for you. I guess I can start throwing train stewards wherever the hell we want. <clears throat> Beautiful. And we win. And we don't even lose a unit. Let's go high for speed. <laughs> right. Restore friendly units to full health. I'd like to get this and take Frostband with it. Discard your hand, draw five. I like that as well. I think I like this more, though. Sweep. Strike. Apply three Frostbite to attack units. Mm. I'm actually going to take you, and then I'm going to take room capacity. So then I can make my, to uh, my bottom floor even stronger. Removing units is nice, but do I want the random artifact instead? If we're duplicating, I already know what I'm duplicating. We're going left. Remove you and you. So the deck's getting a little bit thick. Let's see what we offered here. I mean, I could take another multi-striker, but no. We are going to duplicate this. All right, I want to make my dude tank here. But the rejuvenate thing. If you've got more health to play with, that's more damage for me to deal. And will I more often than not heal for more than 15? I don't think so. I think taking the rejuvenate one there is going to be better. I mean, there's probably some maths you could have done there to have worked it out properly. Enemy units enter with spell shield 2. I don't think that will block the healing damage. I hope that won't block the healing damage. But my multi-striker generally is good enough. I think we're going to start on the top floor here. Uh, you can have that. Do I want to throw the... Yeah, I'll throw the train stewards out of the way because the frost lance isn't going to do much anyway. And you can come... Go in front. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. I'll throw another train steward out. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we're losing the gold. Ha ha yourself. See, the rejuvenate thing there does 15 damage regardless. Right. Yeah, I'm glad I took that rather than the extra spikes. Yes, we've not quite got as much health, but... Stop it with these. Uh, pimp you out a little bit. Still does 15 damage, and that actually made it so that you're dying. <clears throat> oh my god. It's just these purge cards that's going to be annoying as sin. Well, this is going to work out brilliantly. So much damage. And we only take four from that now. You 
You know, if I could even give you multi strike so you get. Um, you can apply the frost damage a few more times. You know what? Kill that dude. I said, kill that dude. He's already dead, like. I probably should have thrown that on the boss. I've got a couple of turns to try and get some spells on him then. Well, honestly, drop that because I want to play both of these. You're going to wreck my dude. That's like 100 damage per turn. And you're fairly well protected. So I do lose my front two units. Oh no. Just kill that dude off. And that's without even really focusing on this dude getting healed. We were legitimately just increasing our damage on our multi-striker. Nice. Right. Thanks for the gold. I don't think we need the draw from this. Although it may help if we can find... A Titan's Tooth, easier. Now, I don't think we need any of those. I'm trying to get too complicated with it. <clears throat> Apply three sap to enemy units. Mm, no, just give me the gold. Unit upgrades or a trinket. I think unit upgrades, honestly. But thinning the deck out is so much nicer. Now, unit upgrades. You know what? I will give you quick. This is the one I wanted for my other dudette. I know it's not multi-strike, but that being 10 damage increase is so much nicer. Uh, remove train steward. Can I remove two of them? Now, we're going with the same problem that I always go with in the fact that... Um, oh, I just tabbed out of my game. Uh, in the fact that I'm going for a single floor defense, which does have problems, namely when the tank dies. And with armor. I think we can get through that. Apparently, I clicked on my mouse config thing. It just tapped me out again. Never mind. Bottom floor defense. No, I'm going top floor defense. Uh, your slay. So actually, no, I'm going bottom floor defense. And the frost won't kill you. So I need to throw a few spells at you. And there you go. Honestly. I'm going to kill you like that. Kill you like that. I'm getting greedy for the gold. Heal units to full. I love it. There you go go and we'll apply that to you it's still not going to kill you before you get to the pyre and big boy there's only going to have 15 health left plus you're going to have frostbite you know a relic that um, either reduces frostbite to um, loss hmm nothing I can do to stop you I can throw that at you. Get that out there. I might as well go with the Awaken, and then you're all going to die. Right, we seem to be getting in front of it now. We're going to take a small, small amount of Pyre damage. I'd say I was amazed that the healer at the back there survived, but it's not really that amazing when you think about it. Just beef you up even more. That makes you dead. Might as well go with a little heal there. And you're a multi-attacker. Oh, you actually get the kill. How about now? Oh, we just win. 
I mean, we lose all our units in the process. Let's slow it down. Just so I can see what happens at the end here. Two, three, four, five. And then Frostbite kills you. Get wrecked. Wasn't really wrecked, but... Apply Rooted to the enemy. Plus one draw next turn. I mean, the Rooted could keep the uh, the tanks around for longer. No. I think we want spell upgrades this time, should we get the chance. No, unit upgrades again. You know, I could duplicate another card. And by duplicate another card, I mean duplicate another one of these holdover things. It seems a bit excessive though, doesn't it? It's just, this is a complete waste of time for me. I'm going for the artifact. When you play your third spell of the turn, all cards gain plus one magic power for the rest of this battle. That doesn't really help me. It does make the heal stronger though, doesn't it? Which would make my damage stronger. Now I'm going with the merchant costs reduced. Let's have a look in our cavern first. <clears throat> uh, I recognise you, but I can't remember what you do. Apply quick. I do like that. Apply endless. Apply silence. I think I want the quick book. Bye, dude. <clears throat> Thanks for coming. Yeah, can't do any upgrades. Purge cards. The frozen lancers aren't really doing that much for me. And really, I prefer using the flash freeze over them. So let's cut three of them. And that's basically all of my cash used. What have we got here then? Uh, it has spell shield five. Doesn't matter. I'm not really throwing spells at you. I think we'll go for a top floor defense with this being a boss fight. Uh, there you go. Mm, there you go. Oh, bless you. Honestly, I'd rather get this out there earlier. The restoration detonation is not going to do anything anyway. Where do they get frostbite from? Mm, cold Scylla, you get down there. Let's apply quick to you. I'm just going to throw Glimmer down there. Alright, then we made that dude stronger. Um, and you want to get buffed. <clears throat> Having them two be quick is so nice. It minimises the damage to our tank. Um, I think you want to heal. I'm going to restore and restore. And I'm just going to throw that on you. I know it uses up the spell shield. Well, it gets hit by the spell shield, but the frostbite still gets through. And there you go. There you go. And there you go. Oh my god. Doing quite well. It feels like that. It always feels like... Well, it doesn't always feel like that. Quite often, it feels like that. You can't root a boss, can you? I've tried this before, right? Yeah, he's immune. Do you think your incanting makes me scared of you? <laughs> they didn't even get to attack. How much frostbite have you got on you? Only eight. Unfortunate. Uh, let's go Glimmer. Just to take some of them dudes out. Might as well. Have more damage, have more damage, have more regen. I think we've got a nice setup, but look, it's the Awoken again. Surprise, surprise. Yes. Damage, damage. You're very, you're doing like 164 damage before they even get to attack. That is insane. And it just keeps going up and up. 
honestly drop drop the restore I'm just gonna root you down there for a bit there's 200 damage I might as well just apply the frostbite to all of them. Bye, Angel. And we win. There you go. There you go. Regen. And I'll add that to you. Oh, no. My champion's going to die. Oh. When I can find my mass, I'll put this on hyper speed. Wrecked him. I really like that. I actually think more energy this time. Just because the expensive spell I just grabbed left. Let me remove. I mean, really, I don't need that one. So I've got the two holdover ones. And, I mean, I could get rid of a restore. We've got better heals that we want to see quicker. Now we're thinning the deck out. Apply eight spikes. Double rooted. Mmm... I just want to make that cheaper, honestly. So I think I'm going to go like that. Make you cheaper. Go for a reroll, and I should be able to afford another. Ah, oh, permafrost. Make you cheaper again. Should make one of them heal for 22. No, I don't think we need to use that. And a champion upgrade. Um, I think more spikes this time, just because it comes with more health. And health is what we want now. Enemies enter with 20 armor. This is going to be difficult. We'll go for a top floor defense again, just because I want time to be able to load up my dude. Uh, well, I guess... Screw it, you're getting some damage. I'll just hit you. The quick's going to work out so nice against these Ember Drain units. If I root you, you can't escape, can you? <laughs> uh, you can have quickness. There you go. And uh, now we start stacking. <clears throat> yeah, root actually stops that dude. Nah, that sucks for you, doesn't it? I think Titan's Tooth definitely wants throwing down on that floor. And you die. That Ember Drain getting off there's going to be a little bit annoying. Luckily, my uh, Steel Enhancer is free. Really? You still don't die? There we go. I'd like you to be able to kill the back dude off quickly. I think we're getting Ember Drained again, though. Uh, drop the Flash Freeze, honestly. Ooh. Only one of them's getting through to the pyre, at least. That was okay. We didn't take too much damage. Uh, yep. 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 
I'm just going to pin you down the floor for a minute. The spikes are doing well. <laughs> yes. Yes. Obviously drop this. Heal everybody. Now, that came together quite well in the end. I'm sure we can kill that dude before he ember drains everyone. Yep, we're taking no damage, so you can eat that. Might as well restore, might as well restore. More damage, more damage. And we win. Why do you now take more damage? I have no idea. We've got this one. Absolutely crushing it. Didn't even take my champion down. Thanks for the 400 gold. Um, spikes on friendly units deal plus one per stack. Six per floor, your two, your two, your two. I mean, it would be nice, but I can't. Hmm, there's something to be said about that, but... Now, why wouldn't you take that? Just to throw it out there. I'll take a little bit of frostbite. Well, it's not coming to me, it's going to the enemy, but... Have I got two cards I would like to remove? I mean, we could get rid of the restores. Let's go right. Because I've got the gold, I can get more trinkets and stuff as well. And I've got better heals anyway. What have we got in here then? Hold over. Yes. Absolutely. I don't really tend to cast this, so why the hell not? I actually don't think I need to make things cheaper. I'm just going to save the gold. Double stacks. 20 frostbite. No, I'm going to double stack on that. Plus 10 magic power. We'll go on the heal there. Reduced cost. Uh, why not? And then we can go see what uh, goodies we can buy. Grant plus two stacks of frostbite each time it's applied. Frostbite does not decay. At the end of the turn, frozen cards are reduced to zero. I've got no frozen cards, unfortunately. Let's go for a reroll. I'd like to make the enemies weaker. <clears throat> I think it makes my defense that much stronger. Hello, Seraph. Friendly unit supply sap. You're kind of going to nerf my uh, multi-attacking dude. But I think we're going to be somewhat fine. There we go. There we go. Enjoy. I'm going to freeze you because I really don't want to deal with your ember drain, which I assume you have. No, you don't. You just have multi-strike. Fair dues. Hey, Seraph, how about you just hang about the top floor for a bit so I can keep stacking you with frost? No? Okay. Uh, you can go there. You can be quick. Get rid of the dead weight. Obviously. Glimmer. <laughs> and get lost. I refuse to take damage. What have we got then? Uh, I love that, just because Seraph decided to come back up. Poor timing, dude. Poor timing. Not letting you go anywhere, actually. Just stay there. Take two lots of beatings. I need to try and get in front of this sap. You're reducing my, uh, my dude at the back there to nothing. 
which is 12 frostbite. Yeah. And add more frostbite to you. You are going to get to hit the pyre, unfortunately. Once. Oh no. Come on, we've got Seraph. Seraph is going down. Yep. More damage. More damage. That heal every turn is brilliant. Kind of want to take you down before you do too much to the pyre. It is the sap that's slowing down my damage this much. It's alright, I think we're doing fine still. So I'm also nullifying their damage just a little bit. Uh... I mean, I actually want to take damage, is the thing. So I was thinking about killing the back dudes off with one of the frostbites there, but if my dude doesn't take damage then we can't use the uh, priority thing and your... Well, no, your rejuvenate works still. I just think my multi-attacking dude would be doing about 200 damage per turn by this point normally. And awaken as well. Only you gets through. The damage is getting quite harsh now, though. It's not even the bosses that I'm comp uh, concerned about, compared about. It's the uh, the units on the way up. Final wave, right. You're going to stay there. This is going to be close. I think we may actually die. At least there's no more sap in now. Drop the dead weight. No! You do no damage. You're gonna kill me. We're gonna die to Dark Wings here. Oh, the frostbite! The frostbite saved us. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so incredibly close. But we've won. Oh my god, Seraph. You made me work for that one, didn't you? I want to slow down here. Why? You took, like, no damage. That was so close. I mean, technically, going by what the game says, we have lost there. But it is a episode win, so I am going to keep that going. So if you get confused at the start of the next episode and wonder why it says a one win streak, and I'm saying that I've won three in a row, you know why? Add a copy of an allied clan starter card to your deck. Fair dues, so they're making the deck thicker. We've got some more gold cards. Excuse me. Oh, Danny got to uh, Covenant rank 17. I was catching you. Not anymore. Not anymore. You know what we're going to have to try and do at the end is get Covenant rank 25 win on every combination. Oh, this may be a long series. Anyway, this has been a long enough episode, so I think we're just going to end it off straight away. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more comments and feedback. Greatly appreciated, as always. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!